For a century and more, you could lay bets on the finest equine legs around Kingston Town. Today, it stands in honor of those who played a heroic role in the development of free, independent Jamaica. If you were living in Kingston in the late 1700s and fancied a day at the races with enough quid and an eye for the fastest horseflesh, a purse of 100 pounds sterling could be yours for the taking. This was the Kingston race course and for over a century it was the center for horse racing in Jamaica. It's believed to have been founded in 1783 and purchased by the Kingston Council in 1818 for 985 pounds and 10 shillings. Back then, it was part of a property called Montgomery Pen, but the more apropos name, Kingston Racecourse, would stick with the downtown site until the dawn of the 20th century when horse racing moved uptown. Throughout the centuries, what is now the National Heroes Park has witnessed many commonplace moments and historic occasions. Jamaicans of the 19th century might have enjoyed a game of cricket, a bit of cycling or even a travelling circus. On August 2, 1838, newly freed men and women gathered for grand festivities to mark full freedom. Half a century later, their children came out to celebrate Queen Victoria's Golden and Diamond Jubilees. And in 1891, in a building called Quebec Lodge, the Jamaican National Exhibition was staged at this site on the spot of land now occupied by the Woolmer School. In the second half of the 1900s, the Kingston Racecourse was converted into a public park and renamed the King George VI Memorial Park in honor of the British monarch. A decade after Jamaica gained its independence from Britain, 74 acres of land on the former site of the Kingston Racecourse was redesigned and officially renamed the National Heroes Park. The seven individuals awarded the Order of National Hero now hold permanent pride of place at the park. It's a final resting place for three of them, Marcus Garvey, Sir Alexander Bustamante and Norman Washington Manley. The others, George William Gordon, Nanny of the Maroons, Paul Bogle and Sam Sharp are immortalized in works of art. All have monuments erected in their honor. The National Heroes Park is no gloomy graveyard, but it is the burial site for such Jamaican luminaries as past Prime Ministers Michael Manley and Sir Donald Sangster. The remains of other national figures in the arts, politics and social welfare are also interred in the park. The site also holds a mass grave for 144 elderly men and women killed in a fire at the Myers Ward of the Eventide Home for the Aged in 1980. And in 1953, the Jamaica War Memorial or Cenotaph was relocated from Church Street in downtown Kingston to the National Heroes Park. The one and a half ton Cenotaph stands in tribute to those soldiers who died during World Wars I and II. Members of the island's defense force maintain a constant vigil at the cenotaph and on the first Sunday of every month there is a ceremonial changing of the guard complete with music by the Jamaica military band. For the 2012 Labor Day celebrations in the year of Jamaica's Golden Jubilee, the National Heroes Park was chosen as the national project. It recognized not just the heroic figures that are entombed or memorialized at the site, but also the many landmark events that continue to take place there, like the December 1976 marriage of music and politics to promote peace. Oh, I 